guys, welcome back to another episode of Atlas Survival Shelters. I hope you're all having a fantastic day as always. Guys, one of the biggest questions I get from you guys is how much is a monolithic dome bunker? Now, if you don't know what a monolithic dome bunker is, it is big inside. Now, the most common size of a monolithic dome is 40 foot diameter, okay? Now, a 40 foot diameter monolithic dome has about 1,256 square feet. It has 16 foot ceilings, so technically you could actually have a second floor loft with a little spiral stair staircase going up in it. But as you can see in these pictures right here, these things feel like a regular house. So if you've ever been thinking about, I wanna do a bunker, but I would feel claustrophobic, trust me, you will not feel claustrophobic in a monolithic dome because you can play basketball in this thing. It is very big, it's very spacious, and it feels just like a home. Matter of fact, there's over 4,000 families in 53 countries that live in monolithic dome homes full time right now. So what I do is, when we want to do you a monolithic dome underground, the first thing we do is we deliver out these, these the monolithic domes, as you can see right here, they're kind of wrapped up in a trailer. We come out to the site, we dig up the ground, and we literally form a foundation. Now I know this foundation right now that you're looking at looks like a giant peanut, but what we do is we form the foundation, we pour concrete, we put in rebar, we actually inflate the monolithic dome, and then the first thing we do is we spray two to three inches of polyurethane foam inside the dome on the walls. After that, we come in and we literally shoot on the concrete, four, five, six inches thick, depending on the depth and whether it's below ground or above ground. And then when we're all said and done, basically you have a big giant shell. And then we can come in and we can make it feel like a house. A beautiful house inside with normal doors, normal kitchens, normal uh, pantry rooms, pretty much everything you have in a house. The only difference is you would be living underground. So I actually have a friend or two that actually live in these monolithic domes right now. So I'm actually gonna take you on a tour here in a minute and let you go see my friend's home that he lives in full time. Now what he did is he took two monolithic domes, put them side by side and con connected them with a corridor so you just walk from one to the other. But what you're going to see in this video is beautiful ceilings, spacious rooms, gorgeous decorations, and basically a, a home that if you put it underground would make you just feel like you're living in your regular house. So guys, I hope you enjoy what you're about to see. I'll see you at the end. Okay, we're in the 40 by 16 um, oblate sphere. Give you guys a tour. Now keep in mind, we'd be underground, so we wouldn't have the windows, but the circle shape gives you all the strength. You even have a second floor loft in here, up there, and another bedroom which is really neat. Closet there, which could be storage for the food. Big wide hallways here. Bathroom. Now this would be your bunker underground. This isn't tough. Only difference is we're not gonna have any windows. But look how beautiful this room is. It has that cave feel. It's just wonderful. It's well decorated. This is gorgeous. I mean, this is just so much fun. Underground in a shelter with these high ceilings, non-claustrophobic. Each room has its own decor and its own feel. Closet space. There's storage. Look at this closet here now. Look at how much, how much closet space you have. <laughs> it just never stops. Isn't that wonderful? <laughs> this 
So these are the new dome concrete shelters. They'll be coming from Atlas Survival Shelters. Then here, this is connected to a second one. Okay, this would be like the Genesis almost where you have one shelter and another and you'd have your entrance right here coming down. So we'd have two of these connected. And then you have your big living room here with your open ceiling kitchen. Washing machine room, bathroom, funny toilet, and a bedroom with an exercise machine, high ceilings, dining room. I mean, this is just a house underground. This is all this is. Just be no windows, big giant den, got all the dogs in here. Oh, it's just wonderful. And look at these big high ceilings. No claustrophobia, no squares, no corners. It's just wonderful living. So this is an incredible floor plan. And this would be the way out. We'd go through here and we'd exit out to the over pressure blast door. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this tour of the new concrete shelters that are coming. Hope you enjoy it. All right, guys, well, I told you, a monolithic dome home feels like a regular house, and I wasn't kidding. So if you're curious what it costs to get a monolithic dome home built for yourself underground, they run about three to $400 per square foot. Okay, now in California, the average price of a home being built in California is about four to $600 a square foot. So in a place like California is basically the average price of a home, if not cheaper. If you go to a place like Texas, where homes average at somewhere around $150 to $200 a square foot, and sometimes even lower than that on your starter homes, it sounds like a lot of money. But you've got excavation, we got to put in these long tunnels that lead from the, uh, from the shelter to the surface. We use that corrugated pipe. We uh, cover it in a stucco, as you can see here. So you have a long corridor that you walk down to get to the front door of your monolithic dome when it's underground. But when everything is said and done, you have a subterranean home and you can live in it full time. And yes, you can have your natural heating, your natural cooling, but we also add air conditioning to these things as well. So it has all the amenities of a home, except you can have your blast doors, your NBC air filtration system, and you will always be underground. And as you can tell, in these pictures I'm showing right here, when they build a Titan I and Titan II missile silo back in 1961, first thing they did, they would take two giant monolithic domes, as you see here, they're painted green on the inside. One would be the area where they hold the generator and all the water tanks. The other one was where they had the command center, where they would launch the missiles from, and then the regular uh, rooms for the men to sleep in, the bathrooms, and all the amenities to live underground for 90 days at a time. And that is how the uh, US Air Force managed and operated the missile silos back in the 60s during the Cold War. But guys, we're not in a Cold War right now. We'll probably be in a Cold War very soon with China. And of course, the country is, itself is looking quite fragile right now after the coronavirus and the recent riots and everything else that's going on in the world. So a lot of people are looking for what would be their plan B. And if you ask what's plan B, where would you go if a major disaster happens? And if your answer is, I don't know, you need to start thinking about that. A lot of people have chosen to use Atlas for their plan B and do a safe room under the house, as you see here, um, to put a shelter in the backyard of a house or they have some land out in the middle of the country and they just want to bury a large shelter and then use it for maybe a recreation, deer hunting, hog hunting, fishing, whatever it may be. But having a Atlas survival shelter is a smart move in the world that we live in. So I hope you guys will consider looking at our website and following us here on YouTube and follow us on uh, Instagram and Twitter as well. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you're not a subscriber to my channel, I hope you will be because I do some really fantastic videos about 
bomb shelter, survival gear. I do some funny stuff as well just because that's the kind of guy I am. But guys, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Share this video if you found it pleasant and you want other people to watch it. Always hit that indicator bell that lets you know when my next video comes in. But guys, as always, thank you for watching. I love you. I'll see you on my next video.